Hey folks, my name is Ron in the village of Charlotteville, Tobago, where we are making and deploying a fad into the deeper waters around Tobago, but trying to keep it out of the shipping lanes and channels, of course. How deep you say 3,000 feet? If you go 10 miles, you'll get about 1,500 feet. Are you advance along so low, boy? But I'll stay right here. You're going outside, you're in the condition. You're going to put it on the Just like to you, me at all. Look at where I do this talk about me and so you yeah, just walk. Right. You just slide up and you got in. This video came about based on a few of the questions that some of the viewers to this channel asked me about the fad as it was mentioned in other videos. A fad is a fish aggregate device and basically some people have called it the fish attracting device. It is a anchor, a heavyish anchor attached to a rope attached to this. The one we use, this, this fish attracting device is basically bamboo with some fishing net tied up on it, not hanging from it so that we don't catch turtles and other marine species that we wouldn't want to be caught in a net out in the open sea. So we've done it with that in mind. The NOAA website that I highlighted on this uh, video, you can look at it and read a little bit more about the fads there. So basically this is going to attract the pelagic fish to that and then we can go out on our boat and fish around the fad area to an area that has fish that's attracted to it. Maybe hopefully catching some more fish and being able to feed a couple more people in Tobago and Trinidad and uh, folks that enjoy some fish. It'll save us some gas and it'll save some, you know, pollution into the oceans because we're going to a specific spot. So it is useful. It's not damaging to the environment and it is going to catch us a bit of fish to be able to feed people. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you have any questions about the fads and about our fishing methods and techniques, do feel free to drop me a line in the comments below. Like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. See you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed. This is a heavy, heavy anchor. As you can see on the first drop of the anchor, the anchor rope had a defect and unfortunately we lost that anchor. But we reset it a week later and this is two weeks later when we're checking and sort of curating and fixing it up. Uh, you can see some of the net and you can see a little bit later on in the video some of the small fish started being attracted. And of course the small fish headed to this piece of uh, floating structure in the water is going to bring the big pelagics there and the flying fish are ideally going to lay their eggs on this net and the uh, pieces of leaves that are attached to it. <laughs> 